Pokemon Ranger, the original. This game is old. Volume warning right now. Uh, the menu theme is really crusty, and I don't know why. But please bear in mind that it's about to be bad. It appears to be mute. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's count our blessings. I'm gonna unmute it, and you'll see what I mean. This is what I mean. But it's only the menu theme. It's only the menu theme. Everything else is okay. You decide how people are needed. You have the qualifications for a Pokemon Ranger. So yeah, I have the bottom screen up on the bottom, or main focus, top screen, which isn't really anything right now, as Fortuna's. Your strong motivation to become a Pokemon Ranger, how you live in harmony with Pokemon and stride to protect nature every day, how you selflessly go to the help of those in need, how you've trained and built your body to become a Ranger. All this I've come to understand and appreciate from the seven letters you've sent me. I would like to meet you. I want to see for myself if you really are worthy of becoming a Pokemon Ranger. I will wait for you in Fall City next Sunday. You'll find enclosed a ticket for the ferry to Fall City in an official Pokemon Ranger uniform. Wear it and wait for me in the harbor. With that uniform on, I won't have any trouble spotting you. I look forward to seeing you. Best regards, Spencer. Now, chat, I didn't realize. Ringtown Ranger Leader. I didn't realize that the main towns in this world were based off the seasons. I never I never put that together. So, Ringtown is Springtown. And now I get to choose. Do I get to play as the guy or do I get to play as the girl? And I'm picking the girl because the girl's design is top fucking notch. And I can name her Jun. <laughs> okay. How's the volume, chat? Everything everything sound good? Man, I haven't played this game in years. Papa, hurry, hurry. It's Ball City, it's Ball City. Well, hold up, no need to get so excited. Ball City isn't gonna run away with us or anything like that. So what's nice is I can still use the controller to move, but I can I just pull up my tablet for the gameplay. Whoa, and I have speed up enabled, which I forgot about, so that's helpful. I can't run. You there, you youngster. This is the first time you're here, is it not, it not so? Now, I'm pretty sure when... Well, we'll figure it out. You'll know where my mouse is when I actually use it, because of the capture styler. You appear to be moving... Why would I think so? Because you appear to be moving using only the control pad. You should know that you can also walk using the stylus on the lower touch screen after all different places, different ways of walking, correct? Chat, his dialogue is different. Because when I tested this to make sure it worked, I was moving with the touchscreen only. And he said uh, he said you could also move with the controller, but he uses the touchscreen because he's in the touch generation. When you decide the direction you want to go, apply your styles to the touchscreen. Leave your styles to the touchscreen. Slide the direction you want to walk. It's that easy. By the large... Oh, okay, there you go. I always use my styles for getting around. You know I'm from the touch generation, but that's just me. People can do whatever they want. Yeah, that's right. Fiore's region front entrance. Fall City welcomes you. Oh, hi, Red Ranger. There's something behind this crate. It's Vanekins. I'm gonna faint. Long squirmy thing scare me silly. Hurry up and touch it. Yeah, touch it. Plusel. I love, I love a little plusle in this game. Oh, wow. It was a plusle that was hiding. Not that spooky. Wait, I don't have a run button. Crabby. There is a Pokedex in this game, if you were wondering. The Ranger Dex. Hi there, are you waiting to meet someone? If you got time on your hands, try chatting with people. Don't be shy, just go up and meet them and touch them with your stylist. Not just people, if something catches your attention. Don't be afraid to touch it with your stylist. Don't forget to check out the tourist center. How's the stylist? Don't forget to check out the tourist center. Cool. Cool place. How's your stylist? Don't forget to check out the tourist center. <laughs> Man! Let me live my life! Welcome to Fall City. Fall City is known as the largest city in Fiore region. The city's best known landmark is the Joy Clock Tower, which is located at the north end. Would you like to ask me any questions? That's how I would have to be for work. And now I'll chat normally. So I want to know, what's with the way you're dressed? You're not really a ranger, are you? It's obvious you've never worn that outfit before. Excuse me, but you're one of the Pokemon ranger people. Can you do that thing for me? You know that loopy thing you do? Oh, you can't yet. Oh. Well, that's too bad. Traveling with my wife, I wonder how many years it's been. 
Are you traveling alone? You sure don't look like a tourist. I mean, your outfit is so outlandish. What is that outfit about? Big girl with the burning eyes. We're on the ferry together. Now, the other protagonist is uh, a character in the game, but I get to be the silent protagonist. I forget her name was Solana. I don't remember what the guy's name is, but I'm sure the girl's name is Solana. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. You're the writer, letter writer, right? Spencer, he's cool. This guy's cool. The ranger designs, actually, I really like. I think their outfits are really cool. The uniform I sent you. It's a little on the big side. Well, I guess it's not that big a concern. Anyway, I'm Spencer, Ringtown's ranger leader. It's good to see you finally. I enjoyed exchanging letters with you. Brought back memories of the burning ambition I had when I was working on becoming a ranger. Thanks for that. Let me show you uh, my ranger base. Like the name suggests, the ranger base is the base of operations for rangers. The only region that be here has four cities. Fall City, Fall City, Ringtown, Summerland, and Windtown. Come on now. Each of the four cities is a ranger base. And as you already know, I'm the ranger leader of Ringtown. Ringtown's a fair distance away to the west, and... Did you hear that cry? It came from over there. Look at this goofy, goofy ass. This doesn't look good. That houndoom appears to be highly agitated. That plusel must have angered it. I bet it pulled some harmless prank that didn't go over well. I know this is a sudden thing, but I need your help to calm down these Pokemon. I'm going to entrust you with a capture styler. Capture style is a device where rangers use can be used to communicate their feelings to Pokemon to befriend them. Only certified rangers are permitted to possess a styler, but this is an emergency. Why would you fuck with a Houndoom? Houndoom is one of the most like, oh, don't fuck with that looking Pokemon in the entirety of Pokemon. Capture that plusle for me, I'll capture this Houndoom. Here, take this. I already got a pose worked out. Yes, you received the capture styler. It's like a dream come true. Hmm? It's fantastic that you received the capture style, but you don't have any idea how to use it. I'll capture the Houndoom first. You can't customize your character, and if somebody made a full-on mod replacing the character in all their animations, that would be that would be a lot of work. Go to explain how a capture works. Just pay attention to me. First, touch your stylus on the touch screen. All right, so this is how you play the game, chat. It's gonna teach you. Watch this fucking perfect circle this motherfucker makes, though. You can draw a line on the touchscreen by moving the stylus instead of lifting it. Look at this! With this line called the capture line, draw a loop around the target Pokemon. It doesn't matter where you close the loop of the capture line. Look at that circle! That's so good! When you encircle your target's Pokemon in a loop, a blue number appears above it. Keep drawing more loops around the target, the blue number will get smaller. A perfect circle! Do it again! Actually, wait. You need to keep the drawing loose till the blue number no longer appear. You have to be careful if you lose your stylus before the end, your capture attempt will fail. There's another thing that you need to know. If the capture line touches the target Pokemon, the capture line disappears like this. Your target Pokemon may also attack the capture line. The capture line is damaged by Pokemon's attack. Your styler loses some of its energy. If your styler's energy hits zero, you can no longer do your job as a ranger. Put it another way, it's game over. Okay, keep it the points I made in mind. Let's try and capture this Houndoom. He's gonna do it. Look at him go. Without lifting the stylus, keep drawing loops around your target. Each time you make a loop, the blue number above the target goes down. Keep drawing loops until the blue number stops appearing. I played this on official hardware. I 100%ed it on official hardware. All three games I 100%ed on official hardware. Watch until the blue number turn orange. When you see an orange number, that's your cue to lift the stylus. Listen, this is a very important point, so I'll repeat it again. When you see an orange number, lift your stylus from the touch screen. That's okay, that's a successful capture. The first game has a different system for capture that was changed in the second game onward. And the second game system is a lot better, but the first game system is still manageable. All right, your turn. First, you need to get close to that plusle. All right, here we go. I got my... My pen is ready. Capture on. All right, you can see it. Nice. Yeah. It works. It works. And I only need to touch screen when, uh... And, and mo I, I only need to touch screen when I need it. So I don't have to, like, have my pen... On the ready. 
Never gonna blindside me. Excellent for your first ever capture. Well, that was a bit of excitement I didn't count on. Still, it was lucky for me since I got to see your potential as a ranger firsthand. Hmm. The hound even settled down enough, I guess. Okay, big guy, off you go. Back to where you came from. What did I- what I did was release that Pokemon. Release literally means to let turn loose capture Pokemon back to their natural habitats. After all, rangers can't take capture Pokemon with them unless they have a compelling reason. Well, it looks like this puzzle's taking a liking to you. That said, you can't really bring it with us. You see, rangers aren't allowed to take Pokemon out of their natural habitats. You better release that Plusle. I'm not asking. Bye-bye, Plusle. Whoops, I almost forgot. We gotta confer the certificate on you, an official proof that you are a ranger. Normally you'd have to take a proper certification test. It's only when you pass the test you should receive the certificate. But forget the test. When you face a situation with a real when you're fa faced with this real life situation, you resolve it admirably. There's no reason at all why you shouldn't be certified as a ranger. Read the certificate thoroughly and sign here, please. I hereby pledge to come to the aid of those in need and safeguard nature to the best of my ability as a Pokemon Ranger, always with pride and courage in my heart. And my name is... That's not my name. Your name is Jun. Sure, why not? Certificate signed. Official seal of approval. Congratulations, Jun. You are now a genuine, full-fledged Pokemon Ranger. Having said that, you're also a complete rookie ranger who doesn't know left from right yet. You need to gain experience above all. There's no time to waste. First, we need to wing across the deep blue sky to Ringtown. Step this way. Sorry, I kept you waiting, Firo. Do your thing. I can now- I'm not certified to draw circles around Pokemon. Alright chat, audio warning, it's gonna play the main theme and it's going to be crusty again. So, you've been warned, mute now. <laughs> it's really bad and I don't know why. <laughs> I was really worried the rest of it was gonna be a problem, but it seems like this is the only issue with it. Alright, we're good. We're gonna land in Spring. Sorry, Ringtown. The plus will follow us here. There's the other guy. Maybe it's intimidated being in an unfamiliar environment. I think it will come back here on its own later. We should return to its natural habitat then. Welcome back, leader. His name's Lunik. What the fuck kind of name is that? Oh, right, because Moon. Because the girl's name is Solera, so it's like moon, Sun and Moon, so his name's Lunik. That is so stupid. <laughs> oh, hi, are you the hot rookie prospect? Name's Lunik. Glad to meet you. What's your name? This is Jun. We've become a Ringtown Ranger today. Jun, Jun, okay, I memorized it. Welcome to our team. We'll be working together from now on. Let's do our best. That's my partner, Pokemon Mining. Come on, introduce yourself. Now that the introductions are out of the way, let's head inside. This building is Ranger Town's Ranger Base. Come on, let's go in. There's Murphy. Sorry, Murph. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, heard you were coming. You're the letter writer, aren't you? Yep, gotta read them too. You sure know how to express yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, my name is Murph. But you just called me Murph, okay? I've been a ranger for, oh, three years now. But my ranger rank hasn't gone up at all that much. Oh, yeah, yeah, that ranger rank thing is really tough. Oh, yeah, 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 this is my partner Slowpoke. It's the faster of us two. Glad to meet you. He's got a good heart. All right, everyone will gather, please. This is your squad. This is Ringtown's ranger base. Jun, you're a member of this base starting today. That said, for me to recognize you as a fully qualified ranger, you still have quite a ways to go. There's a mountain of things you have to learn from here on out. Are you sure you're up to it? Okay, the look in your eyes tells the tale. Your skill level aside, you're a real ranger in spirit. I, l I never really paid attention to the story of this game, chat, so this is all kind of like fairly new to me in that sense. I didn't realize our main character was dreaming to be a ranger for so long, and just their hot-blooded determination to join the ranks of the rangers finally won out, and then Spencer contacted them and said, yeah, come on, come try out. 
As compatriots and ring talent, let's all work together to the best of our abilities. Poor Murph. Poor Murph. Trouble, there's trouble. It's a crisis. Help! 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 Listen, leader, my precious Pokemon ran off in the Lyra Forest. All right, capture my Pokemon and take it into protective custody. This sounds like the perfect mission for Jun. Either enter the Lyra Forest and capture Larry's precious escape Pokemon. This is your first mission. Don't fear failure. Do your best. What do you mean, don't fear failure? What's going to happen to his Pokemon if I fail? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be afraid of failure. <laughs> You've got to be joking. Failure is no good. You've got to be afraid of failing. Are you sure it's going to be okay asking this rookie girl to handle this mission? Ha, ha, ha. There's nothing to be worried about. The Lyra Forest is right outside Ringtown. I'll go ahead and meet you there. Well, isn't this just dandy? I asked the leader because he's the most trustworthy ranger here, but look at this rookie. A less trustworthy face I've yet to see. Jun, don't let it bug ya. Larry can say some rotten things, but he doesn't really mean what he says. Anyway, that's not important. I'll give you a few simple tips about the capture styler. Besides capturing, your styler has many convenient functions. Hmm. Oh. Oh? Jun, your styler, it's not turned on. See this part? Like this. I have 4 HP. First, this is how you open the menu. Just touch the 4 on the top left of the corner. This plays a ring of icons around you. Give it a try. Okay, I'll give it a try. There I am. I can do all kinds of things. Hmm. Okay, good. Your capture styler really is an amazing piece of technology. You can show your present location to give you information on Pokemon, for instance. Oh, there's a little bit of cutoff. Hold on, chat. Let me fix that. Let me fix that cutoff you're seeing. Oh, I see the issue. It's... There we go. Alright. Problem solved. Hi there, showing the upper screen also allows you to quick save your game if you want to take a rest. Just check it out yourself. Quick save is convenient. I can save it anywhere I want. Hello, rookie tra uh, ranger. Very pleased to meet you. I'll be right here to recharge your styler whenever you need. Oh yes, if you want to save a record, your ranger activities on your styler. So that's the save machine, but you can quick save to, to, which is very convenient for streaming purposes. Please touch the save machine. Hmm. There's a yellow, yes, in the manga. There's also an emerald in the manga. Yellow is a. Uh, she has a Pikachu, a, late, a female Pikachu. I remember this save jingle. Oh. Oh shit, that hit me with a wave of nostalgia. Please do take care. Hmm. <laughs> Whoops, there's no time to be humming. Rookie trainer, this is what I have to do, so I can like, teach you right now. Alright, there's something you don't understand. Look it up in the Ranger Glossary. Just open your style menu and touch the glossary to get at it. The glossary explains important topics and details so it's easy to understand. Why, even I make use of it all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to tell you about the second floor in the building you can reach in the elevator. There, I told you. All right, well, let's go. It's your first time in Ringtown, right? It's a small town compared to Fall City, but it's a good place to live with lots of trees and nature. You take a tour of the town before you go off to Lyra Forest. Yellow's character arc was good, but she was definitely annoying uh, at first. I don't know anything about Emerald, but I, I've heard he's, he's booby butt. Pokemon react differently when they encounter people. Some can start and run away, others turn aggressive and will attack. You should observe how different Pokemon react. No thanks, I don't watch React streamers. The Goon. The secret behind my good health is a daily walk with a Pokemon. Living with my little friend, it feels like I get to share its vitality. Goo goo. Goo goo goo? <laughs> now, where has my father gone this time? Not a day goes by without him raising a big commotion for how his beloved Pokemon ran away. His lunch is ready, too. I never finished, uh... Loringtown's nestled in nature has a lot to offer. I love this time where people and Pokemon the pack these side by side. I think I missed this guy. Did you know? This is Ringtown, but the whole region, including the cities, mountains, and the sea, and everything is called Fiore. Did you know this then? There's a lot of Pokemon living in the Fiore region. You really do that? Hmm. Mommy, can you tell me what does a Pokemon trainer do? I know what a Pokemon Ranger does. Pokemon trainers? Dear trainers are people who capture Pokemon using something called Pokeballs. Just like rangers, trainers are very protective of Pokemon. 
It's too bad, but there are no trainers in the Fiore region. There are many, many trainers in far-off places like Kanto and Hoenn. Mommy wanted to become a trainer a long time ago, so I'm a bit of an expert. There's no trainers in this region? That's weird. That's actually very weird. But I guess Ore has no wild Pokemon in Colosseum, and very rare, very few wild Pokemon as well in XD. So this is just one of those regions that, like, just never really propagated with Pokemon battling, I guess. Like, there was no established trainer league. Like, even Alola didn't have a trainer league. They had island trials. But, uh, you know, Kukui created the league for the, the like, the first opening of their league and became uh, a region that could contend like that. I don't recognize your face. What do you call yourself? I forget a pointless series name. Just a ranger pass through or something, right? Huh, wish I could just bolt from the sleepy board town already. Judd White! Hmm. Jonah, are you feeling spooked by your very first mission? I think it'll be fun, so I'll tag along. Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm? Don't fear failure. Rookie mission. This lush forest is teeming with life. A giant tree towers in the middle. Okay, ready to begin your rookie mission? Your mission is to capture Larry's Pokemon, which is fled to somewhere inside the Lyra Forest. You are also required to return the captured Pokemon to Larry, who will be waiting here. Hmm. Shadows of Almia was the second game, right? Yeah, because third game was called Guardians or something, right? I can't remember. The, the third game is like a complete fucking blank to me. But I remember I played it, and I did a lot of the multiplayer stuff alone. Really shouldn't be an especially challenging mission. It was Guardian Signs. Yeah, I remember virtually nothing about that game, so I'm excited to get to play it again at some point. Larry, by the way, what was the Pokemon that fled? It was my, um, you know, uh, it was one that took my tongue, you know, it's, uh, I'm just too upset right now, I can't remember what to call it! It's powerful yet classy. It might appear to be a slinky look, but it's also clunky. What I'm trying to say is it's a Pokemon, that's what it is. What the fuck does that mean? That's not much of a hint to go on. Well, Jin, did you get what kind of Pokemon Larry means? I'll go with you, so if there's anything you don't understand, you can always ask me. I wouldn't put too much stock in Larry's description if I were you. That's right, you see the browser icon in the style menu. It's a very convenient feature, you should learn how to use it. The browser automatically registers data on Pokemon whenever they're captured. The register Pokemon are classified using numbers that are assigned specific for Rangers. You see the classification numbers are arranged conveniently for Ranger and sort of the Fiori region. I remember Christian had a guide for this game. That's how I first 100%ed it, was he had a, he had a guide that taught you things. Because there are some Pokemon you can only catch in here in the catching contest. They need a certain score to do it. Please, I'm begging you, find my precious Pokemon. Chikorita. Chikorita. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Make it spin. You get bonus EXP if you, uh, do extra circles. EXP increases your... I believe it just increases your styler health. Trigger looks cute when it toddles with its leaf blowing in the wind. So yeah, you get these for assists and stuff like that. Good capture. I can tell the Pokemon came to accept your friendly feelings. First, you want to capture for what Pokemon you need to get close to it. Instead of touching it with your stylus, walk right into it. That's how you set a capture process. And a little Chikorita! I, I love, the, I love the, the Pokemon in this game a lot, too. Look at her! Look at her, it's great! <laughs> I love the way she walks. Little Toddle. Come here, Zigzagoonie. I'm gonna get you. Triangles. Oh shit, he's quick! He also moves in a zigzag, you see that? Hmm. Now, Pokemon Rangers existed in earlier games, but this is the first game to focus on them as a as an occupation. Zigzagoon always zigzags when it moves. It's fun to just watch it. Hmm. Okay. So you can't see the map is kinda not clear, but you can at least see Pokemon. I'm pretty sure there's an actual proper map in later games as well. Capture on! That's so cute! That's not a Chikorita. 
Oh, hello, Ranger. I've never seen you before. The style on your belt looks shiny and new, too. That's not the way I think. My instincts tell me so. Okay. Oh, it's Chikorita. Okay. We're going this way, then? That's what I mean. You can't really see the map. You can see things, but you can't see... Oh, look at the mud kip! Look at him! It's been a while since I've seen anything about this game. It's like... It's like it's new again. It's like it's all new. You need a, a bash for that, which Things of Goo does not have. Oh, streamer. Streamer, you're not doing a good job right now. He said it's not this way. The fuck way is it? Huh? Does it want me to capture the Chikorita? I guess I'll capture the fucking Chikorita. Where am I supposed to go? There's nowhere to go. Okay. Alright, Chikorita acquired again. Bro, are either of these your fucking Pokemon? Pokemon you caught isn't my Pokemon, that's a wild Pokemon. Mine's a lot more smooth yet craggy too. I don't care how you do it, just get my precious darling back. Won't be a second too soon. What does he mean? That's how you start the capture process. Yes. And there's a Talo here. Oh, there's a Talo, dude. Look at these circles. Look at these circles. They're messy as fuck. But it's okay. You can't. Taylor flights, uh, flirts about busily, capture when it grows tired and rests. Good job, Jun. The Taylor is Larry's missing Pokemon. How? I'm sorry, I actually knew, but I kept quiet about it. I wanted to see how you deal with the situation. I wanted to see if you had the drive and tenacity to solve a problem, even though you had very little information. You pass with flying colors. Alright, let's take this bat Pokemon back to Larry. Okay, come here, Talo. Dumbass. Oh, my darling Talo. Pio. Well, I'll be darn. Good job. Good going, Ranger. It just goes to show that your leader knows talent when he sees it. I'm real sorry for giving you grief earlier. Thank you so much. Maybe Larry's not such a bad guy after all. You did it! Congratulations! Actually, do you want to know about my rookie mission? No. I had to go look for Larry's missing Taylor too. Congratulations, you've cleared your rookie mission. You've now joined the ranks of Pokemon Rangers in name and in deed. So let me have a Ranger can recruit. You see the number up top? Uh, so there's, you can have four Pokemon in your party and when you max it out, you have to replace them, but you unlock more party slots as the game goes. Leader help, there's some trees on fire. What's this fucking penis music? What? That's an unexpected turn of events. Jun, get ready to fight a fire! How did this happen? In a situation like this, we'll have to do something we call target clear. Target clearing is a process of solving a problem using the abilities of captured Pokemon. I'll explain using these burning trees. First touch the target, in this case the tree on fire, to check it. It will be terrible the fire spreads. Dazzle these flames with water right away. When you touch the target, its information is shown at the top screen. When it says require field move, you should see the water icon. This indicates that a water type field move is needed. In other words, if there's water, the fire can be extinguished, thus solving our problem. In our case, we need a Pokemon that's the same icon as the water icon to clear the target. I'll go find a Pokemon that can use the water fire field move. My leader is incredibly quick at capturing. Hey look, he's back already. This Mudkip is a Pokemon that can control water. Look at look at look at the way Mudkip moves. That right there, that's that's a good emo. That's a good emo potential. <laughs> it's like Rat Jam, but a mud kit. Just to be sure, touch the mud kit to confirm that the water icon appears. Oh, great, he's doing it for me. Mudkip is a very docile Pokemon. It can douse a small fire by spinning water. Okay, we just confirmed that Mudkip's field move is indeed a need of water type. So does that mean the target of Pokemon has identical field, identical field move icons? It means the target can be cleared by this Pokemon. Okay, watch closely. I'll demonstrate how this fire can be extinguished using the Mudkip's field move. First, you touch the Pokemon. Then you draw a line from the Pokemon to the target. Get Mudkip's help. When the target and the Pokemon are joined, they will glow. That'll do it. Speak. 
Thank you, Mudkip. You know, you can help. There's two trees. See, that's how you clear a target. Jun, now you try it. Extinguish the other burning tree. Bro, why didn't you just get that Mudkip to extinguish them both? Come here. I can't see what's going on in here. Two Mudkips! Cool. Uh... Did that break anything? I don't think so. Alright, we're good. Joint EXP. Hold on, chat. You, uh, you died. So I gotta... I gotta do this. What a cool, uh... Cool system I have, huh? Alright, open it back up. Yep, restore. No drizzly rain. No drizzly rain. Okay. We're back. Styler's level one up. Energy increased by two. The line length increased by five. Oh yeah, right, your line length. Forgot about that. Mud keep. You have one too many Pokemon in your party. Would you like to reorganize the party? Yes. Release. He even zigzags out of there. What a guy. I forgot about double. That, that can be annoying. Alright, well he's back to where you got him. That's how that release system works. The burning trees flames quickly extinguished. Thank you, my kit. I literally was trial by fire, but you cleared that challenge. Now, who set those trees on fire? I remember some of this music. Actually. Nostalgic. Thank you, Pokemon Ranger. I uh, was gonna say, but I couldn't. It's my fault those trees caught on fire. I was pretending to be a ranger and tried to catch a Pokemon. I startled it to breathe fire and the trees caught fire and... I'm sorry! I'll try to learn more about Pokemon and respect their feelings. I'm really, really sorry. Well said, little guy. That took guts to say. Don't ever forget what you said. All right, let's head back to our ranger base. Whenever he says something like that, I know it's supposed to be a good thing, but the way he says it, it's it's like intimidating. I can still see us moving in the darkness. That, look at mine and go. Do you see that? Wait, chat, can you even see right now? Or are you just looking at Mudkip in circles? I actually can't tell. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I can see them in the darkness. That's not supposed to happen. The illusion is ruined. Your work on the rookie mission was pretty impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you would do as well as you did. Keep it up! Lunik, Jun, I want you to patrol Ringtown until a new mission comes up. If anything happens, you let me know immediately. Clear. Roger. A ranger's job isn't only about doing missions. Patrolling the city is just one of the important things we do. Let's hit the streets and hear what our citizens have to say. Yeah, okay. We patrol the whole city. The citizens can live in peace. We can even go door to door. Lunic Joan, I want you to patrol. If anything happens, let you know immediately. Don't treat patrolling like it's a stroll in the park. I used to get scolded like that a lot. See you guys later. Alright, we're getting in there. Did you hear that? It was a Pokemon's cry. That's my poop soul. It's over that way. This little shithead. Wait, wait, wait up! Wait, my darling Taylor! Calm down! Please calm down, my precious Taylor! That Taylor's after that little plusle, and that's Larry's Taylor. We gotta save that plusle. <laughs> we gotta catch the Taylor and get it to calm down. I got this. Should look, look at the plusle. I was trying to circle with the tutorial. Taylo is shocked and can't move. There's your chance. Capture the Taylo and calm it down. We're getting to assists. Hmm. Michonne Compari. You did it, Jun. Well, if it isn't Jun, you captured my darling Taylor again. I owe you a big thanks. 
Larry, can you explain something? Why was your tailor chasing the little tussle? Well, this is what happened. When my darling tailor came back to me, I was beside myself. I was so happy. So I was happily petting my precious one over and over. I think the little plusle became jealous of how my darling was getting all my attention. So I started bugging my precious tailor. My tailor tried to ignore it for a while, but that plusle was so persistent. My darling finally became furious. Yeah, I see. Plusle, you better apologize to this tailor properly. Plop, plop. Okay. That plusle maybe gets lonesome. It's just the feeling I get anyway. Darling Taylor, let's forgive that little puzzle and go home, okay? Pew. Pla pla. Pla pla. Like Larry said, maybe this puzzle is feeling lonesome. Look how much it's taken to you already, Jun. It really wants to be babied. Jun and Puzzle connected emotionally. There you go. Puzzle's data was registered on the browser. Puzzle discharges electricity to mobilize targets during a capture attempt. Yeah, your partner is really helpful for catching shit. Shun, did you maybe know this little guy from before? So what's the story? Is that right? You saw it in Fall City's Harbor. It's the fight with a hound doing right in the town. And it's clung to your leg, so you had to bring it to Ringtown, Jun. Well, I'd say a lot happened in a short time. Hey, I know, Jun. You don't have a partner in Pokemon yet, do ya? I think this puzzle will make a perfect partner for you, Jun. I guarantee it. Puzzle became your partner, Pokemon. That's settled then. Lucky you, Puzzle. From now on, you are and Jun are officially partners. Let's get back to patrolling. Puzzle, you're with us now. I've acquired a friend. Did you know? In the Fiori region, Pokemon come in different groups. Did you know this then? There are 17 different groups of Pokemon. Did you really know that? Oh, aren't you a lovely couple? Are you an item already? Or is one of you about to ask the other out? Or perhaps you're just a pair of rangers out on patrol? Ha ha ha, I knew right from the start. I couldn't help but tease you. What's my favorite Pokemon, can you guess? Pikachu, because it's adorable. The climate is always like springtime in Ringtown. It's very pleasant to live in, but also makes me drowsy for a nap. I can't believe it. This place really is Ringtown. This is not a run button. I I could have swore there was a run button. I wish I had a partner Pokemon that you guys had. Must be fun to go on walks with it in places like the Lyra Forest. We'll catch it. Surely you're allowed to catch Pokemon in this region. Sure, there's no trainers, but Pokeballs aren't outlawed or anything, right? I'm sorry about the trouble my father put you through. It's okay that he adores his Pokemon, but he goes completely overboard. He fusses over his tail so much it has to run away to get some time for itself. Jun, right? Sure appreciate your help. I was trying to talk to the Talo. All right, let's go to the forest. Wait, 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 the Zigzagoon lady. You're on a stroll with your partner Pokemon. Are you the only Pokemon that you can freely take to other towns? That would be your partner. Yes, it's possible to be accompanied by the wild Pokemon you've captured. However, you're forbidden to take wild Pokemon out of their natural habitats. After all, it's how you help maintain the delicate balance of nature. That said, it's an entirely different story when it comes to an expert ranger. Such a ranger will gain experience of every sort that will prevent problems with Pokemon in unfamiliar places. That's basically telling you that post-game. You Post-game, you gain the ability to bring anything anywhere, so you can access the post-game areas. MC Fielder. Yo, yo, yo. Hop on your Dorduo and join our capture challenge, yo. Yeah, I know I set it, but we're actually not quite set up, yo. Sorry, come again, will ya? Welcome to the Grassland Challenge. The reigning top score is 5,000. The sign is mysteriously replaced if it's cut into tiny pieces. So I guess... Walk north from here, you get to the forest, go to the east, go to the shadow plain. What am I, what am I, slime post? Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Where are you going? We're supposed to be patrolling Ringtown. I don't know where I'm going. This town is huge, man. There's like four, there's four fucking buildings. Town's huge. Can't handle it. Yeah, you'll find a bunch of stuff throughout the main game that, like, you can't access because no Pokemon in the area has the ability to access it. But that's why it's post game. Oh. Well, I patrolled the town. I've talked to everybody. Did I not? Huh. Alright, did my job. Reporting back from patrol leader. Welcome back to both of you. Oh, which bustle is that? Could it be the same bustle that tagged along with us from Fall City? That's right, it is. We haven't run into it while we're on patrol. We were, this puzzle could be a little prankster. It's gotten into trouble because of it. 
but it doesn't seem to have forgotten how Zhen came to its rescue. Lita, there's something I need to tell you. Lita, there's no need to explain. I can see with my own eyes. Jun chose that puzzle as their partner Pokemon, right? I can see that they make a decent combination already. I should explain what a partner Pokemon is. Every ranger is permitted to keep a single Pokemon as their partner. The partner has to be a special one that is connected emotionally with their ranger, as if they were close friends. Partner Pokemon aren't just there, they're the cute appeal. They're expected to help their rangers when necessary. I hope your Plusle grows into such a supportive partner Pokemon. I'll teach you how to put Plusle's special ability. You see, my mind is the same type as yours, so I'm familiar with it. He's got a sumo. Sumo stamps. If you want to borrow your partner's Pokemon power, <clears throat> it needs one thing. Your partner needs to have partner energy. You gain partner energy by drawing loops around Pokemon during captures. This is partner energy. Every time you draw a loop around a target Pokemon, you add your partner energy on the partner gauge. You'll draw loops around a Pokemon watch how the partner gauge goes up. Man, they are quite heavy on tutorials, huh? See that? The partner energy is filling up. When the gauge fills up, you're good to go. Before all plus power, touch the icon on the bottom right. You see how the screen switched? This is where you choose your Pokemon, either your partner or a captured friend you want to use. Touch any Pokemon on the screen, it's data and descriptions of its power shown on both screens. Plus will discharge is stunning electricity. So once you chose the Pokemon in our example, your partner touch the Poke Assist button. This makes your Plus will use its power to help you capture. Yeah. Do you get how to use Pokemon powers now? Would you like me to explain it again just to be sure? No. No, I don't. No, I'm scared. I don't know what button is the hotkey for no. It's really reassuring to have a partner Pokemon and how long the help it captures. It's a real confidence booster. Later, if you aren't, any new missions could we could go up on patrol again? Let's see. No, there's nothing that really demands immediate action. Okay, Ludic, you do that. You can go patrol the Lyra Forest on your own. Roger! Yeah, I'm better with your mission again. I'm gonna work that much harder knowing that I have a new go getter of a rival at, the ba at a ranger base. What about Murph? <laughs> Professor Hastings! Oh, confound it all! I've become disorientated in that wretched Lyra Forest yet again. Oh, but that's besides the point. Spencer, long time no see! I trust you have been well. Now, who might this be? That unfamiliar youngster is the rookie ranger you've been telling me about. It's good to see you again, Professor Hastings. As you've guessed, he's our new rookie hope, the Jun. Hello, Jun. I'm Hastings. Glad to meet you. There's no need to be formal with me. You may just call me Professor if you'd like. She doesn't talk much. Incidentally, Professor, I wanted to speak to you about a new styler you left with us recently. She's been cursed. Cast with the mute button. When you become a protagonist, you're not allowed to talk. The thing you call the super styler, while well, it sure lives up to its name, it really is quite outstanding. But it also worries me, too. If I'm going to ever fall into the hands of criminals... You worry needlessly. The Super Style's existence is known only to the Ranger leaders of the four Ranger bases. Oops, I was rather loud, wasn't I? But no matter, that Super Style is merely a prototype. Incidentally, Spencer, it's strictly between us, but I had a flash of inspiration. I had an idea that will power up the Super Styler. I couldn't wait to share this idea with you, so I took a long journey all the way from Fall City on foot. So the brilliant idea I have... Uh, yes, Professor, just uh, hold... Please hold on a second. Listen, Joe, can you do me a favor? Go upstairs and check out my Fero. That'd be right now. <laughs> Don't hear this. Here's upstairs. That'd be a trip up the elevator. Okay, so my brilliant idea, whisper, whisper. I see that. That's not quite brilliant, whisper, whisper. Jun, could you make yourself scarce? We're talking big business here. Oh shit, there's more rangers. Here's a piece of advice from an older ranger. If your style runs out of energy, it can't make captures anymore. That means you won't be able to do your job as a ranger. To avoid this heartbreak of a sad situation, remember to save your record often during missions. You see, save mission during a mission. I hope you'll remember what I said. Lucky Ranger, I have a question for you. What do you do if your style is about to run out of energy during a capture? The answer isn't stick it out. Run away is the correct answer. Assessing the situation and fleeing is necessary is a perfectly acceptable strategy. If you need to run away, just draw a single loop around a target and touch the flea icon that appears. Hello there, rookie. Does the Dragonite bus interest you? This here Dragonite is like nothing more than a work for us rangers. Take a ride, you'll find yourself at another ranger base in no time flat. Okay, I hate to say it, but it's a bit too early for you to be taking a ride from this guy here. When a ranger leader recognizes your worth, that's when you'll take a ride anytime. Hurry up and become a good ranger. You know the kind that's earned this kind of ride. Gar. 
Fero. Hmm, you asked about our Fero. It's resting up. Must be tired from carrying both you and the leader at the same time. There's nothing to worry about. It's quite tough, so it'll be back to its regular self in no time. But as tough as it is, it's not so tough that it can carry two grown men at the same time. I think you maybe I'll have to escort the good professor back home. It's just a Firo, man. Ain't no way anybody looking at Firo and being like, yup, that's my partner. Gotta get that. Love that Pokemon. Chat, who, whose favorite Pokemon is Firo? It's very important. So how did my Firo look? Hmm, I see. Okay, thanks. Yes, I have a new mission for you. Professor Hastings will be walking back to Fall City. Jun, your job is to escort the good professor and see to it he returns to Fall City safely. That, Jun, is your first official mission. You need to go through the Lyra Forest and head for the Croca Tunnel. Once you get through the tunnel, Fall City just steps away. Ain't nothing wrong with Firo. I don't want to hear it, Paris Sympathizer. Ah, it's good to have you along, Jun. My well-being is in your hands. Jim, it's your job is to escort the good professor as he returns to Fall City safely. Part of the tunnel falls just steps away vigilant. You have to escort the professor? That's really heavy. Too heavy, even. You want to hear about the mission I had yesterday? My mission yesterday was find the missing toenail clippers. You know how toenail clippers always seem to be missing a few times you actually need them? You know what I mean? Hmm. Did you know? Oh, okay. I knew. I know. I knew. Well, now isn't your grandchild adorable? Oh, this isn't your grandchild. Perhaps the child is actually a ranger escorting the professor. I knew for the start. I was just teasing. The professor seems impatient to go. You better be on your way. Okay. Walk north to get to the forest. East to the Kisura Plain. What am I, a shrine post? All right, let's go, professor. Mission one. Escort the professor. Now don't you treat me as if I were a decrepit old man. There's no need for you to feel concerned on my part. Let us march. Yeah, look at look at this doof. It's a wild bell sprout. Ain't scared of you. Just looking at the Pokemon in this game is is fun, really. Absolute doof. Bell sprout delivers cuts with its sharp leaves. It's just a sprout, but be careful. Doesn't even have a field move for cut. Ah, yes, I almost forgotten. Spencer asked me to teach you something, Jun. Shall I teach you about Poke Assist? No! Let me demonstrate using the Bell Sprite you conveniently captured. A Poke Assist is a process in which you borrow a Pokemon the ability of Pokemon to capture the Pokemon. Just think of it this way. Demonstrate so much closely. You're gonna demonstrate on what? No! Perform Pokemon. <laughs> There's the pot. Click the Pokemon. Yes, there are two kinds of focus. This one that chose to put it partner of this kind. The other Pokemon is done and cast some way to capture really the later kind. Touch any Pokemon in the period of physical spells, but the grass focus assist. Paul Grass go, tag a Pokemon, stop them in their tracks. So there is type advantage in this game, if you were wondering. Grass focus has caused Tops to have the capture line. The grass cleans the Pokemon, stops them in their tracks. That naturally makes them easier to catch. You must be aware, however, the effect of focus does not last forever. Focus is only used as other times as displayed on the right screen. How many times does that Pokemon provide? Focus will release automatically. Don't forget your sense of gratitude for the help we provided. Good. That should be another explanation of how focus just works, just to confirm that you understand. Would you like me to explain again? No. Sort of thing you should learn by actually doing it. That said, let me say one more thing. As you move in Ranger rank, you'll be able to even more kinds of Poke Assists. Descriptions of new Poke Assists will be added to the glossary. You should look them up. Poke Assists do depend on the type of Pokemon grouping to see how they match up against other groups in the glossary. It's quite enough out of me. Let's make haste to Fall City. So, yeah, there is type advantage in the, the type chart is in this game chat. So, uh, for example, using Grass Assists on a Water type makes the effect stronger, whereas using a Fire Assist on a Water type makes the effect weaker. You see how there are many Pokemon in Lyra Forest because Rangers have worked hard to pick the natural environment over the years. This is a nice place. Ah, there's a Mudkip. It appeared at the right time. Let me explain how to perform the Water Poker Assist. It's rather unique. This part is the same as usual. Touch the bottom screen. Then click Mudkip. You can create a bubble. Yeah, you create a bubble and flick it. I know how this works. Look your style. Let's lower the screen. Target touch the bubble. There you go. Obviously, trap can't move. Then you do circle where the bubble bursts over time. The position of the limit of the will be burst. I'm finished probably not looking as vulnerable. Target Pokemon flies on the visible little pop. There's a little in the other direction. 
En het uh, deel is waar ik wel aan het dat plak. Ja, ja, fuck bubbles, ja, yeah, ja, yeah, fuck bubbles, ja, yeah, ja, yeah, fuck up, ja! Yeah. Good. That concludes my lesson on the water poker assist. Just be sure you like to go over one more time. No! Mind you, let's make haste to the fall city. I know how all this works, I've done it before. Hi Ranger, I need help. It's a bundled hay on the trail blocking away. It's too big for me to move. Well, good thing there's this fire type right here that I can capture. Doofy. Ow. Hold still. Hold still, damn it. Hold still. I can't stop the origin point. I can't get you in the corner. There you go. Now with a boss, I'll put the controller down and focus up, but for random shit, I don't do that. Torch Express blames from his tiny beak, it can easily incinerate burned hay. Bundled hay. Well, how about that? I have some bundled hay I gotta destroy right now. Yeah. Ah, so bundled hay is obstructing our passage. How did you get here? You already learned how to clear targets, put the knowledge into practice. You both want to help to do something to bundled hay. Torch you your friend, it can use the fire move. Set it on fire. Bundle hay was burnt till there was nothing left. Thanks, Torch Chick. There you go. Thank you, Ranger. Now I can go to the Crocker Tunnel. What a nice place we have here. Sorry, anything beyond this bridge is off limits. The forest grows very thick in there. Even the locals are known to get lost in it. Okay. Pichu. Pichu! Game on, gamers. What? Ow. He's a recharger. Electric types are, uh, they're portable healing. Pikachu not only recharges the styler, but its cuteness is uplifting to others. So yeah, he's, he's HP. Hi, are you from a uh, mission? If your style is energy running low, try and find and capture a Pichu. That's what you should do. Magnemite or Pikachu will do too. Electric group Pokemon can restore your style's energy using their electric attacks. Your electric powers. There's a shrubbery. You can go in there if you have cut. I don't have cut right now, though. Middle tree. This tree stands exactly halfway between Ringtown and Fall City. Okay. I'll take another Pichu with me, just in case. <clears throat> None of these have cut. Come here, you little rapscallion. I only get 3 EXP on them. Just emergency. I only have 6 HP. I don't have the ability to cut that tree right now. Oh, but maybe. But maybe. No, it's another one. Let's see. Shrub. It needs to be cut down, so it's ideal for Pokemon to use when making nests. Two shrubberies that could be open, but no Pokemon to open them with. Head. There's a fallen log in my way. Can you help, Ranger? Oh. Hmm, the fallen log is in our way. How? Where did that fall from? The fallen log won't burn as easily as the bundled hay we saw earlier. Torchic fire is too weak. Now what will you do, Jun? You need super fire. Where do I get super fire? Ah, super fire. Ah. Alright, pay attention. What do you do? Fire shot. Oh shit, you do it again. Nice. He did one damage. I've been critical. Combusca delivers fiery kicks, flame shot from its toes. Hold on. Pichu, I. My pen! I need you. Yes. Juice me. Thanks, G. You are all right. If only the control stick was on the right, uh, the right side of the controller. Being left-handed means I have to take my hand off the movement, pull the tie tab stylus up. The Lord knows I'm not using my right hand to do circles. Hmm. 
slightly inconvenient, but not a huge problem. Croker Tunnel, Ringtown, Falls City. Okay. Somewhat dangerous tunnel links Ringtown and Falls City. We have not far to go now. Perhaps this mission was rather too easy for you. Let us make haste. Isn't it nice in here? In memory of Doug Trio, a loyal companion and co-worker in the long and difficult tunnel project. Wait, he's dead? What the fuck? Oh shit, okay, I never realized that. There's a there's a dead Doug Trio. Man. Gonna get a salute to that one. Ringtown Falls City. Hey Larry. Oh, okay, man. In the old days, we used to be able to see Doug Trio around these parts, but nowadays, I guess it's because there's more people about they move deeper into the tunnel. Man. Oh, my Growlithe, why did you die? It's a heavy topic when you eat Pokemon die. It really is. Because, like, it makes sense, but it's, like, not a topic that's fun to explore. Just wait, which way am I going? Which way am I going? Just neat. Huh. <laughs> no. I see. But what about ghost types? Can ghost type Pokemon die? Or are they not already dead? So I guess if you never want to worry about them dying, you get a ghost type, right? Ordinary wooden fence. Oh. I don't know, that was a rare sight to behold. It's a Doug Trio. That Doug Trio had flooded the sight of me. How very rude of that Doug Trio. Hmm. Hair ass. Hello, Jun. Can you hear me? It was a very close call indeed, but I managed to avoid injury. However, I need you to come get me. There should be another passageway near you that will bring you to me. I shall wait impatiently. Ordinary rock. Giant bolt is extremely hard. A lot of power is needed to crush it. Well, I'll call Yoda. There's a, there's a, 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 wow, Paris. Wow, amazing. Love Paris. Great Pokemon. Oh, careful there. Attack. Okay. I have acquired a Paris. Paris cuts the capture line with its front claws to avoid being caught. Now here's here's some fun we can do. We can cut this fence, or we can bring him outside and cut those bushes. Goodbye, Paris. He did his job. Need a big, big crusher for that. Let's grab a Magnemite. Yeah, do your thing. Recharge Pokemon. Magnemite loses electricity to attack and also recharge your Styler. Wags. Look at the way they bob. Hold on. I'm just gonna use the bell spread to get it out of here. Ah, shit. There we go. Okay. Style level up. They're a little blobby. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, they probably tell me I couldn't leave. Probably like spots of range that become startled and dives underwater. Get a lot more EXP on a double. Okay. Actually, I should probably grab a Paris just in case I need cut. But I'm not gonna try and walk it all the way out there. It might even not be allowed because the habitat is wrong. But I don't really know. No, that shouldn't be an issue because I brought a uh, I brought Pichu with me. Yeah, just send a goodbye, Poliwag. Okay. 
We just need options. Ah, uh, here they are. These guys. What is it? Who are you? The Go Rock Squad. <laughs> Hello, Gramps. They asked the team Professor Hastings, the chief of technology of the Ranger Union, I presume. Well, we're strangers of danger, and we mess with the Rangers. To go ma that makes us the Go Rock Squad. Sorry, Gramps. We're here to leave you your important package. What are you doing? Oh, stop it! Thank you so much for your cooperation. I have one super style I received. Thank you so kindly for all the time we have today. Adios, senor. Oh, Jim, we have a crisis on our hands. My super style, the fruit of all my studies, was taken by some ruffians who called themselves the Gorok Squad. If only I were 20 years younger, I could have twisted, crumpled, and tossed such dregs of society aside. Come, we must give chase. Fucking mop the floor with them. They didn't get very far, did they? Oh, you gullible ninnies. You thought that rock fall earlier was a natural thing? This is like Mario Party music. Ha! You can stay cooped up down here courtesy of us. I'm a, the bad guy. Let's see what happens when I press this button on this remote control. Are you ready for this? Well, never going back that way. Uh, is this, uh, um, like, is this a screw-up? Well, get going. Yeah, it's a screw-up, all right. How are we supposed to slow them down now, you incompetent fool? What are you going on about? You're the one that set the trap. All I did was press the button. It's not me who decides where the rock should fall. There's something to be said for that. But that's beside the point now. Let's hightail it. Well, now I can't backtrack until I can break rock. Well, no choice but to go forward. Okay. Two weird guys? Yeah, they took off running like their pants were on fire. They were saying stuff like, ha ha ha, and he he he. Classic. Classic bad guy behavior. So, yeah, chat, the Go Rock Squad, uh, this is this team's evil, evil team, this game's evil team, and I remember specifically their admins all played instruments. That's all I remember. I don't remember what they looked like, but I remember they played instruments. Crocka. Crocka. Well, hello there, right on. That ride on, those two scoundrels must have done something to enrage it so. Jun, is your style energy sufficiently charged? Try using the focus just like I taught you earlier to capture that ride on. Jun, if you put your feelings into making the capture, ride on should calm down. Okay. Calm down, ride on. Calm down, ride on. Chill out. Gonna make you a bubble. What? Ah. Uh, right on hurls big boulders that can shatter rock walls. Good for him. That right on appears to have calmed down enough to release it wherever it came from. Uh, we could have used its power to break those rocks. Whew, we've been beset by trouble. That little disturbance cost us time. We're completely lost sight of those scoundrels. Fine, let us return to Fall City and consider our options. By options, I don't mean fooling around some text settings. I mean consider what we might do. There's no time for inside jokes. Let us make way post haste, Jun. I didn't... What? <laughs> That's funny. Because the only options in this game are text speed and window. That's... He, he broke, he, he, he did it. He broke the fourth wall. Did he just, did he just fourth wall poggers? Friend Pokemon can't be taken out of their natural environment. None may go beyond this point. All right, get out of here. It's Graham Moochers. Except you, you stay. Bustling town has symbols such as clock tower, fountain, and lifehouse. Okay. It's always impressive how multi-purpose you fuckers can make an emote, you know that? It really is. That emote just exists and you just find purpose for it. You give it purpose. Here we are at Fall City's Ranger Base at last. Well done, your mission has been accomplished. 
Hmm, you don't appear very happy. Let me guess, you're upset that I was mugged for the Super Styler. No less than Joan was not your mission to deliver me to the location safely. Now examine me if you will. Did you see a single scratch upon my person? I think not. And here we are at a mission's destination, the Ranger Base. In other words, you've accomplished the mission objectives impeccably. Just speaks to its quality. I guess so. But I have some emotes in there that I think are hot, hot shit, but then nobody uses them. Joel. Welcome back, Professor. How was Spencer? Thank you, Joel. Spencer is fine, but things do not go well for me, I'm afraid. It's quite humiliating, to say the least. You see the Super Styler. What did you say? The Super Styler is gone? We should discuss this in the Ranger base. Let's hurry there. Hmm. Why? I mean, I yeah, sure. I'll say because you, you're giving me the option, but... Hmm. Jolie. This is their outfit, their uniform. Good work on escorting the professor. I heard about you from Spencer. For rank one ranger, you've done a commendable job. Jonah, I'm officially promoting you to ranger rank two. Two stars. What do I get with that? I'm just promoted to ranger rank two. You can now use fighting poker assists. Professor, there's something I need to discuss with you. It's too sensitive to discuss here, so let's take it upstairs. Jordan, please wait down here. Alright. Hi, I'm Lind, and nice to meet you. Our leader Spencer and Joel used to be in the same team together back in the old days. They used to clash as rivals when they were young, but nowadays they have nothing but respect for each other. They're famous in the Fiora region to this day as Spencer the Fiora Master and Joel the Dodrio Rider. Hi, the name's Keith. It'd be nice if you remembered my name. It must be kind of impressive. I mean, you... Must be able to get a job escorting the professor. Ha, huh, you don't get what's so impressive about that. Just so happens Professor Hastings is the Ranger Union's chief of technology. That capture style you're using is one of the professor's inventions. Hey, welcome back, Aria. Ooh. Wait, she's got drills! Oh, that uniform! Are you maybe a ranger from Ringtown? But I don't remember seeing your face before. I'm Aria. I'm a ranger here in False City. You've never heard of me. You really don't know anything, do you? Oh, well, that's fine. And who might you be? Okay, I see your name's Jun. Not a very inspired name, but I'll make an effort to remember it. Alright, hold on. Hold the fuck on. What are you saying? But oh, she's got drills. Listen up, please. I have bad news. Professor Hastings was set upon by criminals who claim to be the Go Rock Squad. Worse, they made off of the professor's invaluable Super Styler. The Super Styler, by the way, should be considered the latest version of the Capture Styler. I can't discuss it in detail because it's still in development. However, in criminal hands, the potential for wrongdoing is frightening. Recover the stolen Super Styler at any cost. This is a mission for every ranger in Fall City. This is no usual mission. This is not a problem that can be solved by the Fall City Rangers alone. Just had the Ranger Union issue alerts to all Ranger bases under its command. Every ranger in the Fiora region will be informed that the recovery of the Super Styler is top priority mission. I ask all you to fully cooperate with rangers across the region to complete their mission. I like how one of these characters is, like, animated. <laughs> okay, three of them are, but... Oh, no, 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 they're all animated. Except me. I'm not animated. Sorry, but the careless has led to this. Professor. Okay, everyone, you heard? Please give the mission your best effort for the professor's sake, too. The first task is to gather intelligence on the Gorok Squad. We need to know everything there is to know. Investigations should fan out for the Crocotunnel when the Super Styler was snatched. Don't forget, I expect to be kept constantly informed. That's all. Everyone dismissed. Yes, you wanted to say something. Oh, you'd like to work alongside Fall City's Rangers. I appreciate your offer, but Jun, I'm afraid this mission is too much for you at your Ranger rank. Also, there's something else that I would like to entrust you with. Because of this mission, Fall City will be without its regular Rangers. While our Rangers are absent, I would like you to handle the city's Ranger activities. I'm asking you to help our citizens in need. That will be your newest mission, Jun. Jun was t tasked to help people. So my superstar that would be used in the nefarious deeds, the very thought of it is horrifying. I want you to help out our citizens in need. It's your newest mission. Alright. I'm gonna earn Drill Lady's respect. Fall City case log. Your stylist received a text message. From Spencer to Jun. Ari message from Joel. I know you're in an unfamiliar place, so things can't be easy for you, but hang in there. How about the citizens of Fall City in need? I'm counting on you. Yeah, I don't I don't emote. I blink. That's it. That's all I do. 
Captain Hello Ranger, can I get you to come to my apartment building? There's been a mix up there and I'm stuck because of it. I'll be waiting. Okay. Don't you find Joel, the ranger leader, to be cool and fabulous? I'm waiting here because I want to see Joel go on patrols riding his dodrio. Pretty nice building, isn't it? My suite is over here. She's inviting me in. Uh-oh. Oh. See, Ranger, this big crate is in the way. I think the movers forgot to take it. Please do something. I can't get in my suite with a heavy crate in the way. Sure. Thank you, Ranger, but that crate is very heavy. I think you need a strong Pokemon to move that crate, like a Makuhita, for instance. Then why didn't you get a Makuhita? I tried to move it myself, but it was way too heavy for me. I don't know who to turn to. Alright, I'll go find you a fucking Makuhita. We're just gonna walk around town. There's a Pichu. I don't care about the Pichu, though. Oh, we can go to the harbor and catch that Krabby. Hold on. Knuckle. More Snubble. I'm gonna grab this. I don't like Snubble. I think Snubble ugly. Oh shit. Snubble ugly. The Snubble's tackle can move heavy obstacles. It's actually quite docile. Such a hater? Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you told me that was your favorite Pokemon. Going off your track record. How would you like a lifestyle surrounded by flowers and Pokemon? Yeah, sounds fine to me. Can't break that fence without cut. Oh, Meowth. Now this is a Pokemon with some chest hair. Ah, uh, yes. I love this little guy. Hmm. Meowth can cut trees down with its claws. It cleverly walks on its hind legs. He looks like- he looks like a- he's a goober. Alright, cut him down. Thanks, Meowth. You're the hero of the story today. So why did I come up here? I don't know. Bonus? Amity Square. Many smiles bloom- wait, really? Wait, isn't Amity Square the same place? Isn't Amity Square the same name as the place in Diamond Pearl and Platinum? Why was it stuck behind a fence? You know what? Hit this tree, dude. The big tree is teetering back and forth. Wow, that was a fantastic use of time. I mean, it is a square. It lives up to its name. a factory over here. This creepy and sinister factory only operates from dusk until dawn. We haven't had any success finding the whereabouts of the Gorog squad. Huh, what are you doing here? What's that? Joel asked you to keep watching for Fall City? Let me get this straight. You're a ringtown ranger, but you're patrolling in Fall City. Well, that's, uh, awesome! That really helps out a ton. Well, we'll find the Gorog squad somehow, so yeah, we'll be counting on you to take care of things in Fall City. Okay. Can't go in here. I gotta get another fucking snubble, and I gotta hit the other fucking tree. Alright, cool, I'll do it. Think I won't bet. Think I won't? I'll do it right now. Hold still, you fucker. Hold! Maybe I should slow down a bit. Hmm. Alright. This time. With the- once more with feeling. factory in the east side of town. The old days, the right proper factory it was. But lately we noticed oddly just people coming and going there. At night, you can hear music playing in the Dusk Factory. It sounds like a band practice, but in between songs, you hear people shouting slogans or something. Man, isn't that enough dead getaway? I want to go to the harbor. Lee Colo! 
Another day I'm probably the most unbusy guy in the world. Of course, any job is as busy as a ranger is for me. Yeah, come here. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. Got him. Have to square up. Let it go to dance cheerfully while singing. The tune interferes with capturing. Well, now he's mine. Was well, a contest to name this fountain. I'm trying to think of a good name for it. Call it Jun Waterhole. Wait, actually, let's 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 hold. Let's all submitting that one, shall we? Hello, Ranger. Did you know people cross the sea going to adventure with Pokemon? They're called Pokemon trainers. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. It's that's the water hole, the poisoned water hole. Let's call it that. You're a wingle, dude. Hold still. Mm. Take a big drink of this. Wingle flies with its wings spread out. It spits water to interfere with capture. Give me that crab. One hand. Really do anything, but they are a strong water assist. The stronger the Pokemon is, the more time you have with them in the assist. Krabby says foam into the mouth if it's about to spray bubbles to attack. Hmm. Here we are. The Snorlax is always asleep. Does it ever get hungry? When will it wake up? Nothing seems to awaken it. Sailor. I had some days off, so I went up to Summerland. It's a great place. The sea is crystal clear. It's always like summer all year round. Thinking about a vacation, there's no better choice than Summerland. Lapras guy. Do you like a ride on my Lapras? Ah, that makes me happy hearing that. We just got back from Summerland. If you can wait a while, we'd be happy to oblige. What a, what a powerful role this guy is. We have Dragonite Ranger and Lapras guy. Just absolutely phenomenal names. Who are you? What are you known for? Fall City is quite the place where Summerland is like. The kid's gone. Okay, I'm heading back. I'm going back into town. I gotta go find a Makuhita. Who knows where that is? I left my Pokemon back home far away, but not a day goes by and I don't think of them. Oh, Pikachu, Dragonite. The horizon is blurred by my tears. This motherfucker had a Pikachu and a Dragonite. My wife is completely infatuated with Skitty, but I'm completely captivated by her. And she barely knows I'm alive. But you're married. Wait, is that a picture of Mew? It is! What the fuck? That's like just a picture of Mew, but like the, the, the Pokemon Emerald Sprite. Huh. Interesting. That's really random. Why is that a picture of Mew in this on the wall? Alright. He's got portraits. That's Pichu. Yo, hold it there, Ranger. You cast news to capture arena up past here. It saddens me to say it's not your lucky day. They're still getting it ready. Sorry to disappoint you, Ranger. Come back all soon when things are on. Shopkeeper. There's something in the trash can that wasn't supposed to be in there. If you write it to check the trash can, you might be in for a shock. Don't get knocked down on your behind. Welcome. Why aren't you young? I hope you worked hard at becoming a respected Ranger. Anything else here? I'm looking for a Makuita. I'll probably need a snubble later. There you are, you big bastard. He's got a bunch. Yeah, Thrussy. Yeah, there it is. He's not as chunky in this game. He seems to have a little bit of weight reducted. Makuita is small, but it has enough power to move obstacles. I keep seeing strange rangers lately. I wonder if they're really rangers. We're so lucky to have rangers with us. They always have to solve our problems right away. Here's the northern cock tower. The tower is a symbol of happiness. It keeps accurate time, too. Is there really no run button in this game, though? Alright. Hmm. Makuhita! Do it. 
Prey was moved using an enormous amount of power. Well, I mean, I guess it's just next to her door now. Thank you, you made my day. I can finally go inside. Won't you come in for a snack? Chat, the picture on the wall there is a smoochum, and it's the same deal. And then Latios and Latios. Aye, what is this thing? Please, Ranger, catch it. I already do something about that Pokemon. Okay. Gas. He, he gassed me. Stop popping! <laughs> Annoying bastard. Ben and I hops about while scattering puffs of poison mist. Finally, oh finally, I can begin living my dream of living in the city. Thank you, Ranger. I did my job. I'm sorry, but I'm just not good at all with that Pokemon. Could you let it go, please? Bye, Benedict! And that was just a hole in your ceiling. You really didn't think that one through, did you? I didn't expect anything like this just as soon as I moved here, but I'm not gonna let that get me down. I'm keeping it in my head up with a positive attitude. When you release a Pokemon indoors, it just blasts with a fucking wall. Congratulations. There's a hole in your wall. So what's going on up here? Makes me happy to have a young person like you come calling. I was just hoping for someone to talk to. In the last little while, the tap water has taken an unpleasant order. The waterworks is famous for being clean that Pokemon can live there. It's very odd. You have to leave already? Well, I'm sorry to see you go, but you go, you must. After all, it's your job. There is one apartment per floor here. Patrolling is hard work, isn't it? People ask you all sorts of silly things, don't they? People this time rely a little too much on the rangers. Haha, <laughs> it was tough using the stairs to get to the third floor, wasn't it? You can deny it all you want. Your face shows obvious fatigue. It's, it's two flights of stairs, dude. It's fine. This apartment building has three buildings. Three in it. Three in it. Three. Three. Now what? Now what do you want? Yoo-hoo, yes you, the ranger there. My adorable and oh-so-lovable Skitty has run away from Mumsy Wumsy. Oh, please, pretty, please run at my little pretties. You know, Skitty, don't you? You can solve this lickety split. You're a ranger after all. Oh, what a pretty Skitty. Oh, it's so cutesy wootsy. Yes, yes, it's this Pokemon. My little pretties are just like this. Now, shoo, shoo, run along now. Please, pretty, please bring my wobbly, wobbly Skitty back to me. Okay. So you have to do it now. Bring me a lovely dubby skitty. If you don't know where my sweet little witty skitty is, you can come ask me. I'll wait for you to arrange your face. Don't you dare fail. Okay. Could you please tell me? You don't know where my darling skitty might be? The skitty are quite romantic. Try looking near a fountain. Okay. I'll go look near a fountain. I'll go look, for, I'll go look near a fountain. No one said the beginning of Ranger was an action-packed excitement trip, that's for sure. It's Teresa Skitty! Pity! You... Dude, it keeps opening its eyes, it's freaking me out. Skitty playfully hops about if it spots a capture disc, it adorably waves its tail. Yeah, you ain't cute. You're a nothing Pokemon. This goddamn skitty out of my party. Speed. Here, take it. Just, just take it. You're doing much better than I thought you would. So it's four skitty. Please, oh please, keep looking. What's wrong? You don't know where my darling skitty. Let's see, skitty. Love to get up in high places. Must be for sunbathing. Why do you have four skitties? Why are they all lost? It's just a high place. There's no skitty. Where's the skitty? One's in that fucking park tree, isn't it? I can almost guarantee it is. Alright. What? It's on the fucking roof. Wait, where am I going? There's nothing here. All right, hold on. I'm gonna go get this. I'm gonna get the skitty with uh, first. And yes, I'm using speed up because this is extremely tedious. Okay. They're gonna 
show me which tree it's gonna jump in. Come on. Guagu. Keep the noise down, Machoke. What a useless Pokemon. Hey you, what do you think you're doing here? Get lost if you're not authorized. Huh? You feel sorry for that Machoke? What is it to you? What do we do with our Pokemon? It's none of your stinking business. I told you once already, get lost if you're not authorized. You're an eyesore. Woogoo. Skitty, what are you scared of? It's not cheating, it's called convenience. Motherfucker hop. Yes. Turn it Pokemon to remove. Leave. Alright, I'm leaving. He's doing he's conducting research with his machoke. What kind of research is he conducting? Don't don't ask questions you're not prepared to hear the answers for. Let's just let's just leave it at that. He's training it so it will punch somebody really hard. Now there was an episode of Pokemon very early on, mind you. Uh, the episode where it's like the Pokemon's journey and Squirtle talks. Oh, I mean, they, they talk to each other, but it's subtitled. And Ekans and and uh, Coughing are there. And Meowth is with them, and Meowth's like, Alright, get him! But then uh, Coughing and, and Ekans don't actually listen. And they're like, Yeah, okay, so Pokemon aren't bad. It's not- Pokemon are incapable of being evil themselves. But, the, you know, they respond to the wishes of their masters, so... A, ba a bad Pokemon is just because they have a, a mean trainer. Which is what they tried to tell me. But then I watched the episode where that Togepi ate a banana, and that Togepi was definitely not of good sort, alright? That that Togepi was of ill rebuke, for sure. Wouldn't trust him. He has he has bad things in mind. The waterworks under inspection since closed the public for now. We had a lot of complaints about poor water quality lately for stumps as to why, though. Take these fucking skitties. Take him. Ah, uh, still missing two Skitty. Let's see, my Skitty are fluffily cute. They pass for plush dolls. Okay. Alright. I guess one's a stuffed animal. What does that mean, though? Meow meow. Okay. Please get out of the trash. Trash. Right where it belongs. Streamer, what do you have against Skitty? Said nobody. Well, uh, chat member. I have nothing against Skitty, but it is one of the most useless Pokemon I think I've ever seen in my life. Its existence is pointless, as far as I can tell. It evolves into a random Pokemon with a Moonstone that has a really random ability. And it's just not good. It's just not a good Pokemon. Genuinely not a good Pokemon. I'm looking for a stuffed animal. Why does it evolve by Moonstone? Hmm? Doesn't that feel kind of random? Okay, well, there's... I'll give you your skitty when I find the other skitty. What's this? Research lab. Door is locked. Okay. Hmm. When you say terrible, do you mean Pokemon that are bad or Pokemon that are ugly as sin? Hmm. My cute plushies are nice and fluffy. You can play with them if you want. Oh, that's very odd. Do we have that many plush dolls? Skitty. Cute plush doll Pokemon looks just like a real Pokemon. That's a Skitty. Hmm. His heart is full of hate. No, it's just full of contempt for one shitty Pokemon. It's stupid. You know why it's stupid? Was it a real Pokemon? I couldn't tell at all. Who would have thought it? A real skitty hiding among plushies. It's kind of a cute story that can make some people feel all fuzzy and warm inside. 
only one. I have contempt for a lot of shitty Pokemon, because sometimes they're they're shitty, but they're obnoxious, like Watchog. Watchog is not a good Pokemon, but I hate it. I hate it a lot. I have Pokemon that I think is really stupid, but I like, is Sigilith. That Pokemon is barely a Pokemon, as far as I'm concerned, but I like it. Oh, my lovely wubbly skitty are all back with Mumsy Wumsy. Now, aren't you good? Mumsy Wumsy, very impressed. Thank you, sweetie. Okay. Great. Oh, my precious, precious skitty, you mustn't give Mumsy Wumsy a scare like that again. Chad, I don't like when they bob their heads up and their eyes turn into a black pixel. It's kind of scary. Let's go home, line up single file. How can anyone like skitties this much? Alright, bring on the next objective, please. The unknowns are stupid, but I mean, I don't really have much of an opinion on them. I fucking hate Sunkern. I hate that Pokemon. That Pokemon pisses me off. Everything about that pick Pokemon irritates the shit out of me. You're Jun, right? I'm one of Professor Hastings' assistants. You know, you're, I know you're very busy, but we need any help with the lab. Can you come with me, please? The lab is this way. Alright, I'm coming. That's double up here to camera the dip. They're really helping you familiarize with the town, at least, but... Hmm. It's Professor Hastings' lab. Please follow me. Ain't no way you're about to tell me that Sun Kern is a great Pokemon. Jun, please, may I ask you for your help? I need you to find something in the basement, but it's pitch black down there. It's impossible to look for anything. I asked the professor for some advice and told me I should look you up. Please help me. Could you do something to light up the inky darkness in the basement? Uh, that's great. By the way, professor asked me to pass the messages. These are exact words. In the lighthouse basement lives some Pokemon called Staryu. Get the help of Staryu to eliminate whatever is too dark to see. That was the professor's message. Please capture Staryu and bring it here. Okay, you could have told me that without dragging me all the way to the lab. Move. Illuminate. I mean, it's something you can do, I guess. But it puts, you, it takes you to the harbor again. So there's that. And the basement of the lighthouse. Oh. Oh, there's a Snorlax. The Snorlax that here was woke up and wandered off somewhere. It finally cleared the way for people to get to the lighthouse's basement. stinky down here. That's that just one singular star you. One singular star you. He spins. Ow! <laughs> I think that would hit. Do I get a full heal from that? Energy up by two. Line length by five. I do. Star you attacks while spinning its body. Take care not to touch it then. It's pretty good. Alright, come with me, champ. We're gonna light up the night. Man, I'm hungry. Now Star You is a cool Pokemon. Star You and Star Me are cool Pokemon that are actually good, which you love to see it. Pokemon that look cool but aren't good are so Disappointing. Because how can a Pokemon look that awesome and then just be shit? Now, granted, not every Pokemon, it's not like they're completely useless, they have their merits, but a Pokemon like uh, Aggron, for example, Aggron's really not as good as its design suggests it should be. Now, that's not to say Aggron is bad, but he really isn't that great. Oh, what is that Pokemon? How do you not know? That must be a star. You use Pokemon's ability, even the darkest place can be lit. It's easy to do. Just touch Star you and have the ability to cast light. Pick a Star you in the basement. Touch it with your stylus. I disagree. I think Regigigas looks stupid. I think he looks really stupid. He's got fucking clown side hairs. That's like bushes growing on him. He's dumb. I like the other Reggie designs, but I don't like Regigigas design at all. I just think he looks dumb. Oh my goodness! It's almost even too bright now. It'd be easy to find things. Thanks for your help. Illumination.
<sighs> it's not over here, and it's definitely not here. It's wonderful that it's bright in here, but now I'm overwhelmed by the sheer volume of paperwork down here. Let's see, it's all data on the footprints of Pokemon over here. Records of Pokemon cries. It might be light in here, but it's still not easy to find necessary data out of all this material. Okay. Hmm. Staryu is great. It makes the Hya in the anime. Drill Girl is here. Huh? What do you what do you suppose you're doing here? Oh, everyone's gone out of town, so you've got a mission to patrol Fall City. I get it. There's a state of emergency on now because of the Gorok Squad, and a rookie like you would be too inexperienced for a tough mission like investigating the Gorok Squad. Oh, did I say something rude? Don't let it bother you, June. What do you mean, don't let it bother me? Oh, I'm a bitch. Pay it no mind. Wait, did you hear something? It sounded like it came from the cock tower. Don't just stand there. Come with me. What a great choice of words I chose to use there. What you doing there, buddy? Why is that Machoke rampaging? Listen, you can go capture the Machoke. I want to see how good you are. Shouldn't shouldn't you shouldn't you handle this? It's gonna destroy the clock tower. Hurry up and capture it before it wrecks the clock tower. Hi, are you about to capture that Pokemon? Well aren't I lucky? I get to see a live capture. Why is that Machoke going wild? The clock tower is gonna be wrecked. Someone do something. Okay, I'll get him. Jeez. Chillax. I got him. This fucking mouse out of my way. Alright, bitch. Think you can just thrust your way through this? Hold still. Hold still. That's not gonna work. Get back to the center. He keeps jumping! That's good. Choke takes pride in his strong body, has no trouble crushing big boulders. Can't crush the ones in the cave. You did it! Thank you, Ranger. You were really cute. That was fantastic. That was the first time I'd ever seen a capture. That would choke fight it down completely from its out-of-control rampage. Wow, am I lucky to have seen that. Ah, uh, Ranger, well done. The city symbol was in peril. No comment from Arya, huh? Hmm, okay. That was a so-so capture, but I can't figure out why the Machoke would go wild like that. Machoke should settle down when it returns to its familiar surroundings. You should release it now. Why don't you go back to the Ranger base for the time being? Unlike you, I have to investigate the Gorog squad, so I'll leave you here. Hmm. Aren't you supposed to be nicer when you're a ranger? That ranger, it's the same snoop who was sniffing around the factory earlier. That darn machoke darn thing ran off without paying attention to me. Plus, it couldn't even wreck the creaky old ta clock tower. How pathetic is that? Yeah, speak a little louder, Mr. Suspicious Dude. But I beat the mission. Early game. We're through it. You know what? I don't like when good, uh, cool Pokemon are bad, and I hate when ugly Pokemon are good. Pokemon like Dragovish and Goldengo, I fucking hate them. They're stupid. And I thought they're good Pokemon, so you see them all the time. Well, I mean, you did for Dragovish anyway. Welcome back, and good job. The citizens of the Fall City were very happy with your work. You perfectly understood the Ranger's role in society, and you worked hard to live up to it. Jun, you've earned a promotion. I hereby certify you as Ranger Rank 3. Good. Should have promoted a ranger rank three. You can now use poison poke assists. Psychic poke assists. Gentlemen, when you go from ranger rank, there's another benefit. A new segment is added to your style as partner gauge when you reach ranks three, five, seven, and nine. To tell you the truth, all styles have a five segment partner gauge to begin with. We kept the number of segments of the partner gauge to avoid putting too much stress on the partner Pokemon. Your partner plus has grown much stronger being with you, so it can handle more pressure. So allow me to remove the first cap on your stylist partner gauge. You are now authorized to offer your style with two segment partner gauge. Okay. The partner gauge is extended to two segments. You've been handling jobs one after another since supporting Professor Hastings. 
You're not sure you're not too tired. Later, we got a situation on the boil down of the waterworks. The aqueducts are supposed to be absolutely clean, but they're overflowing with horrible sludge. That never supposed to happen. I went to investigate. What do I find? The place is crawling with Crimer. Later, I'm begging you. We need help. We need you gotta do something to the smell. It's putrid down there. Mr. Civil, Civil Engineer from the Waterworks Bureau, you've come to the right place. I'll send out a ranger to the Waterworks right away. I knew you were the guy to see later. You catch on fast. Thing is, the other Grimer show up at the Waterworks ever before. We can't figure it out. So I thought maybe the rangers could do something about them. I'll run along wait outside. I'm depending on you, leader. I got pushed. It seems that there's no end to the troubles affecting our city. Unfortunately, Fall City has an acute shortage of rangers because of the ongoing Go Rock Squad investigation. In fact, you are the only ranger who is free. So you don't get a choice in this matter. You must accept this mission. Of course, as you're already aware, that's the ranger's role. So you don't ever get to refuse anyway. So this is your mission. Capture the Grimer that will overrun the waterworks. Also, the captured Grimer to be turned over to a ranger who is specifically trained for the role. Sure, you're the one and only ranger that Fall City can count on. Alright. I guess I'll go do that. I'll repeat myself. Capture the Grimer and overrun the waterworks. That's your current mission. I'm terribly worried about the stolen Super Styler. I'm gonna head to the. I'm gonna head to the Stinky Tube. Hey Ranger, over this way. Oh, I'm coming home, you horses. I'll be there in a second. My goodness, what's the hideous stench? It's stinky up here. I seem to recall. Uh, I don't remember if it was the Pokedex or just in the anime. But for Trubbish, Trubbish smells like garbage. Shocker, right? But with Pokemon, or with trainers that like it likes, it doesn't smell like garbage. From Spencer to June, I've heard the latest from Joel. You might be intimidated to be in an unfamiliar city, but I'm sure you'll acquit yourself fine. Both Joel and I are too busy with the Gorok Squad investigation to do anything else. It's important for you to not worry about the Gorok Squad. You need to take on missions and gain experience. That's why I want you to go out with Grimer mission. Make me proud. Is Grimer the same way? Because it seems like nobody cares about how Muck smells after Ash catches it. Wah, this thing is downright awful. I've been holding my breath. You're doing right. I'm the ranger they sent down to recover the Grimer you captured. Glad to meet. Oh, the stench is getting to me. The stench is even worse the farther you go in, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna wait out here. Every time you capture a Grimer, I'll come running to recover it, and then I'll dash right back out. Oh, I can't take it. I'm holding my breath. New booby discovered. Yes. Look at the way he runs. <laughs> He'd be dashing. Hold still. Hold still, damn it. Hold still. There you go. Hmm. Trubbish eats garbage. Total out powerfully spits blobs of water, may squirt them in succession. Trubbish is actually pretty great, because he just, you know. I walked in shit. Good. He leaves a sludgy puddle. Poison types are good. You know what's good about a... Uh, Grimer hose blobs of sludge. Also be where the sludge tail leaves behind. A lowland Grimer is interesting because a lowland Grimer eats, uh, it eats pollution, but like it doesn't stink. When you capture a Grimer, the sludge goes away, it looks like. Actually, it might stink. I don't remember. I'll take the Grimer up, so keep at it. But the Lowland Grimers basically feed on, uh, like, trash and pollution, so they're really good at keeping the tropical climate clean. And I don't rem I don't remember them saying they stink. Isn't that nice? Being a poison type that doesn't stinky. But I guess in Grimer's case, it's kind of unavoidable because he's just a pile of fucking sludge. Like, what do you want him to do? That's all he is. Poor fish. No bubbles. No bubbles. Ow. Man. Dude. There we go. Yeah, the snake. How come Ekans is a poison type and not a venomous type, hmm? 
Mm, what now? Oh, small mercies, you hear it at last. The water works supply, drinking water at the city to try to maintain its purity at the highest level. What went wrong? Why would Grimer suddenly appear? I've never heard of them here before. Come here. Are poison types the most unfortunate Pokemon? Dark types are kind of scary, because dark types always have Pokedex descriptions that are like, if you are alone with one, watch out. Like Cacturn. Cacturn's got one that's like, Cacturn will follow you in a desert until you collapse. And then when you collapse, that who knows what happens to you. But they literally just stake you out until you can't fight back, and then they approach. And it's like, ah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Good job, another capture. How did you stand the stench? I'll relieve you the Grimer. Can't take this, I won't breathe anymore. Some poison types are pretty chill. Well, Grimer's chill, he just stinks, that's all. He just smells really fucking bad. It's not his fault. I mean, it is his fault. He's, he's a pile of sludge. Actually, chat. Is Grimer a Pokemon that, like, was, wasn't Grimer born of pollution? Wasn't that Grimer's lore? Like, it literally just, like, it's fucking shitty pollution, and then Grimer just crawled out of it. Oh. There we go. The world. Drowsy loses psychic power from its hand to disrupt its capture attempts. It was born from grime touched by moonlight. What the... What does that even mean? To rot and eradicate to keep gnawing on the metal fence. I can take... I can see one of them is scurrying around the other side of the water. Hey, get lost, you little vermin. Oops, sorry, I'm yelling at the critter, not you. No, I need that. I need that guy. Beware of sludge underfoot. Oh, okay. Wow, I never expected to see a ranger here so quick. I'm gratefully impressed. The sludge coating the floor that left over if you try to filter the water and make it drinkable. The sludge is very slippery. Don't try to skate on it or anything. It's too dangerous. Oh. Ah! Oh! Can't see. I'm good. Squirtle! How does Grime Touched by Moonlight create a Pokemon? I thought he was gonna blow up. Oh, he gets bigger when you fucking circle him. Why are <laughs> Hopping sprays poison mist to attack. It pops up on a lot loop drawn around it. Would you like to destroy? Yeah. Say goodbye to Corfish. Don't touch me, motherfucker. Let me get you out of here. Goodbye. Dude, I'm moving so slow. Is this ever gonna go away? Help me! Jesus. Okay. No. No! Don't touch me. No, 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 no. No touch. Look at that. Isn't that a lovely sight? Isn't that just great? Big gas room. There's a rat. Okay, I'm gonna hit him with a. I'm gonna hit him with a poison. Poison oak. Right, it's this button. What do you do? Sprays mist. Capture line creates a poisonous fog. Toxic class does from moving. Well, whatever gets the job done. Alright. Try to get chomped with sharp fangs. The fangs can rip apart a metal fence. Alright, I have progression tool. Now I must leave. Okay. It's a 
little stinky. Shouldn't I put railings up? Railings seems like a pretty smart idea. Huh. Chat, have you ever been inside of a sewer before? Because to me, it's one of those places that I've only seen inside of a video game. I've never seen one in real life. I've never been in one. I don't know what they're like. I've seen them in TMNT where they have these big drop zones. Those are spooky. But like, what, what reason would I ever have for going into a sewer? There is no reason. I'm not a plumber. I'm not a sewer splunker either. I can't imagine sewer water is very good. Alright, hold still. That did some damage, didn't it? Oh, I let go though. I ain't scared of you! There you go. Well, sewers connect everywhere because they have to connect everywhere. Cargonaut attacks with globs of water and the puddles on the ground too. Magnemite, help me. Thanks. Hmm. Oops. It's hard to do a wide circle at the low level. Hmm. Yeah, sewer water is always just like whatever. For, for video game characters, but I can't imagine video game water is, uh... Or, uh, sewer water is exactly the best thing in the world to be walking around in. Come together. Fuck. They're walking... Walk the same direction. Nice. Joint EXP. Well, I mean, you ever think about how Dark Souls smells? Like, imagine walking around and, and as a Dark Souls character. Good job. You maybe like this aroma. It's making me nauseous. Do you think? Do you think Dark Souls doesn't smell like decaying corpses everywhere you go? Do you think that shit smells good? The sense of uh, smell never actually like comes up as a video game mechanic, does it? It's just something that NPCs would be like, ew, stinky. But then you're just like, fine. Flying water ahead, please watch your step. Alright. This pipe leads to nowhere. There's a corpus in it. Where am I going? Alright, that was a waste of time. Man. Hmm. I can't. I can't do it. I'll try the other way. What, Jim? What are you doing here? You're Captain of Mass Outbreak of Grimer. Giggle. Sounds like a perfect job for a rookie. What the fuck are you doing here? My mission is about to get the Gorok Squad. We got word that one of their members is lurking down here. But anyways, it smells beastly here. Yeah, it's your attitude. I can't be wasting any time on my top priority mission, so I'll be on my way. Well, that's obviously the way to go, so I'm gonna check behind that corefish. What's he hiding back here? Get out of my way, dude. Get out of my way. There's nothing behind him! my fault. I understand that. It's just corefish, dude. It's just corefish! It's just corefish. Make the fucking make the circle! Make the circle! Make the circle, please. Please. Unbelievable. It's impossible. Be surprised how difficult it is to make a circle. No, 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 no. Go around. 
fall all the way back to the start. Oh, this way. It's coming. There's a vine whip rope there. Can't do anything about that right now, though. Oh, safety. <coughs> oh, man. Chad, I'm hungry. I want to eat. I had a... I had garlic bread with cheese on top for, for supper. It wasn't enough, clearly. It never is, but... I've got to eat. You got that feeling. You got to eat. You get that feeling. You get that feeling. You gotta eat. Oh, I see progress. Cool wall. Meanwhile, we can concrete walls are susceptible to crumbling. Okay. No, wait. Nothing down here is bash. Ooh. Ooh. Three of them. Don't scatter too much. No, I was gonna let it go. Yeah, 37. Triple kill. And a level up for a heal. Green energy increased by two, line length increased by five. Five what? I don't know. Out good. Sometimes rangers work out of the public sight. Oh, this is horrible. I can't talk. Talking makes me breathe. I'll take these with a word. Why don't I just release them? Grimer is not a very well-respected Pokemon. People would rather it didn't exist. What is it, June? Do you want to cross over to the side? It won't be any fun if I just tell you. So I'll give you two hints. I'm only saying this once, so listen. There's a post here. There's a Tangula somewhere. You can figure out the rest for yourself. I'll be going now. Bye. Thanks, Jun. Whoa, look at that, a Tangula. Hold on. Ow. Oh. Still you little devil. Man, the four party slot thing is certainly annoying. Tangula can extend its vine and lasso to a post to cross the gap. Je reorganize your party. Bye, Totodile. Now, I could go back and use the vine elsewhere. Over here. Down here. Want to see what's over here first? It's pretty out of the way, though. I don't want Cordfish. Right there. You see that? You want to go over there? But then how do we get back? Yeah. Was this a good idea? Ooh, Metatite. I bet he can break a concrete wall. Was it punch power one or two required for that? I don't remember. As I can slap things with tiny hands, break through weakened walls. Well, that gives it away. That's heavy duty scrap iron. Gotta be burned. Okay. Alright, okay. We're looking, we're, we're secrets. So, what's behind this magical wall? I'm gonna find out. Brace yourself. Smash. How could anything be behind this wall if this is the only way in? Also, that was a dangerous thing to do. The fuck? Huh. Hey, Chad, it actually looks like, uh, it, like, looks like actual grass. There's an odd weed in here. Ow. Grab odd weed. I'll heal with the magnemite and grab the magneton. Odd at least on Otter's head are sharp enough to cut down trees. Good for him. There we go. 
And we'll get the... We'll get the big magnet boy. He probably takes three circles, right? No big deal, no big deal. Electric beam. Oh, he's fast. You don't get much EXP from the healer ones. And they're not very hard to catch because they're healers. Magneton generates electricity using magnetism to recharge your styler. Cool. Huh. Drowsy's good because the, the... We're gonna use him for the boss. The mook. But... I don't think we need Crocodile for anything. Or Oddish. Just gotta get rid of Oddish. I don't know why he's in there. Save me some time. Pop it in the assist. Yeah, his effect in this is really bad. It's okay. Thanks, Oddish. Goodbye. Just gonna creep around him. And then... There you go. Not very smart engineering, but whatever gets it done, right? There's a way up and there's a way across. Hmm. Progress? Great. <laughs> Great! There's more- there's more shit! Captain, where am I? Exploring, but not exploring. All right, hold still. Big bite. Dude, I swear I, I let it go. Ow. It's harder than I think it is. I'm just supposed to be drawing circles around these things. Metal fence is probably progress. Shrunk the window size. Oh, God damn it. Ah! Ah! Okay. Oh, fixed it. I found progress, which means I'm backing up. I, I broke it permanently. I mean, I, it's not showing, thankfully, but I did fuck it. Why are there core fish in here to begin with? Oh, man. Yeah, didn't think that one through, did I? Yes, I'm here to break this metal fence for reasons beyond my understanding. Please break it. Open. Thank you, Eradicate. Oh, shit. Boss. Oh. So far what I've done is I've destroyed these metal fences. Crawdon attacks with big pincers. They have sharp cutting edges. I've destroyed metal fences that the complainers are working about get, uh, complaining about getting destroyed by eradicates. That's good. And I destroyed a wall. Destroyed the structural integrity of a wall. Absolutely smashed it. So what's up here? Actually, I kind of need you to give me a little bit of an HP boosty, would you? Can I use you right now? Yes. Why would you not just let me use that there? What? Why was that not an option? 
<laughs> what? I guess I'll just... Uh, I'll just forget what's going on in the world. I don't catch what I don't need. Crawling's cool, though. We're almost done here, but I'm at 5 HP, so I need to be a little careful. It'd be nice to get this mission wrapped up, just so I can stick a sock in her. Here I am, stink master. Grimer me, come on. Three grimes. And yet, do your spew. Well, that was close. Okay. Clean. Great job. This should be the last of the gravity to capture. Return to the Ranger Base report to Joel. Huh, what the? There's an even worse stance coming from over there. It's making my nose go weird. He's going towards it with the Grimers. Does Grimer evolve into Muck? How does he evolve into Muck? You ever think of that? Wow, Muck! It wasn't just the Grimer, there's even a Muck going amuck. I'll get the word to your leader. Oh, I'm all the way back at the start. Oh, yeah. Please watch your step. Stop the flood of accidental falls. Thank you, Cross, for the reset. The style is a text message from Joel. Show that Muck has appeared in the waterworks in addition to Grimer. I understand that it isn't rampaging, but there's a danger of contaminating the water supply. Imagine the captured Muck to your mission. All right, come here, Muck. Boss music. What do you do? Levitate Pokemon helplessly. Okay. Oh my god. I fucking crashed into the muck. Still got it, though. <laughs> muck heads right for the capture disc. It hurls big globs of sludge. Thank you, Drowsy. Very cool. This guy's stink is a lot, ten times worse than any Grimer. I mean, it's so overpowered, I can't smell anything anymore. Look, see, watch me breathe deeply, in and out. Okay, all this lasts a lot of weight. Good job. This guy's lost a sense of smell. Mission clear. Stink eradicated. Three missions in one stream is good. Sounds like the situation in the waterworks has been settled. What about me? I didn't spot any Gorok Squad members, and my clothes smell horrible now. No reason for me to stay in at another moment, so I'll be on my way. I wouldn't dawdle if I were you. You should report to the ranger base right away. Not even a good job, huh? Yeah. Can't wait to go to the, the kingdom. The Valley of the Charizard and lose to that boss fight. Ugh, that crime will reek. Oh, never mind, it's nothing. You restored clean drinking water to the citizens of Fall City by yourself. You restored the city's lifeblood. Those captures you made with the challenge veteran rangers, you've outdone yourself again. I'm here by certifying you as Ranger Rank 4. Four star. Can you take this lock off my party now? I'm so hungry! Ah, oh, you can use bug assists. You can use ground assists. Joel, you're rank four. You have something I should tell you. You're permitted to add one more friend Pokemon to your party when you reach four, seven, and ten. Actually, all styles are capable of allowing to seven. However, no this can't make full use of party if they're way too many. That's why we cap the styler. Let me remove the first cap of your style's party capacity. You're not authorized to accompany my five friend Pokemon to your party. You now have the five friends with you. That's great. Spencer, the Joel and June. I got to go from reports to Gorok Squad to resume activities in Summerland. June, if you're not on active mission, head for Summerland. This isn't a mission. I'm way to gather intelligence from Gorok Squad with your own eyes and ears. Not even Summerland is threatened by the Gorok Squad. I'd like you to go there immediately, but there's a major problem. For some unknown reason, the ferry to Summerland isn't even running. If you took the Dragonite bus, you would be in Summerland instantly, but you can't use it at your Ranger rank. Now, what to do? Promote me. 
Oh, that's right. How about asking the Lapras guy who's always in the harbor? To explain the situation, he may be willing to let you ride the Lapras. He's quite the reasonable and generous person. It's worth a try. The Gorok Squad may be in Summerland. Hmm, the Gorok Squad loose on a peaceful island. So far, we investigated pretty well every possible place we can think of. We haven't had any luck tracking the trail of the Gorok Squad. Hey, come to think of it, has anyone seen Arya around lately? She's got the chops to be a great ranger. She's considered the number one candidate to become a leader, even. But just between you and me, I can sure do without that harsh personality. Harsh is not the word I'd use to describe it, but... Sure. Yeah, recharge my style. Oh, never mind. Alright, chat. Well, good progress today. I give myself a stunning 15 out of 20. Boss is down. Mission complete. Streamer, starving. Please take care. Okay. Goodbye. Time to close the game. Alright, chat. Yeah, I like Ranger. I still like Ranger. I'm enjoying this. It's like a trip down memory lane. It really is. But yeah, I will play more of it in the future.